Hello everyone, welcome back to Simica Gaming and today I am playing again No Man's Sky. Now, after debating with myself for so long if I actually should be playing this game again or not, as in for you guys obviously because I keep playing it, um, well actually I came across something really really visually attractive. Um, so I, I've been doing like pure farming for like two hours straight. Uh, I visited a lot of planets, none of them with really good interesting stuff. Um, and then I got kind of fixated on a lot of stuff that I could find. But then I thought about something. The Atlas interface is on a galaxy uh, that I haven't been to. So I carried on playing the game thinking that I could come across with something uh, interesting throughout this pathway. But apparently I haven't. And uh, it was just pure planets. Some of them quite hostile, some of them actually quite interesting. Some of them were like pure evil, as in a, a lot of resources, like a lot of plutonium and stuff. But then, um, quite difficult to be in there. So actually, I'm recording again because now I can actually go straight into the Atlas interface. And I thought that if I want to do that, I might as well just be recording because uh, I managed to get this far. Uh, went back, started recording, and what I saw is what you're just about to see. It's just mind-blowing. Visually, it is absolutely beautiful because we're looking into a system, and that's the Atlas interface. And no matter what criticism you have over the game, that is actually visually, that is bloody amazing. That is really, really Amazing. So I warped around eight times. I got planets as well, but and I got a space station. And then I got the Atlas interface. Whatever it is, I have no idea. But I'm here, and I want to see what it is with you guys. I want to be recording it when this happens. So we'll see. We'll see why <laughs> all this secrecy around Atlas and. What are we achieving with this? And what I did was I gathered enough resources to build a lot of warp cells. So I think I bought like four or five. Hello. Okay. I. <laughs> Holy shit, that's. That's beautiful, actually. That is genuinely good looking. Oh, am I stepping on things? I shouldn't. I don't know. Am I? Well, I don't even know what I'm doing. Am I meant to be stepping on these things? Should I not just approach him? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But you look friendly ish. Oh, hold on. Is that teaching me words and stuff? Well, not all clearly, but. Okay, I've looked for all the bulby things. I haven't found anything else. Holy crap. I am mind blown. Oh, another warp cell. Thank you. Are you a warp cell? Oh, thank you. Uh, you're already taking space on my inventory, so I'm going to send you to um, to the ship because the ship needs you more than I do. Hi, Atlas. My name is Simikat. How are you doing? Oh. Should I not have done that? It is alien, unlike anything I have seen before. I should be afraid, but an intolerable pull draws me towards the heart of the construction. The construct. I need to know. This is a remnant of the Atlas. It welcomes me. It knows what I am. It offers the promise of true understanding. The intern burns in me. I will appear to the structure of casualty and knows this, this existence. If it is real, or some incalculable vast simulacrum authored by other intelligence. Um, I will accept it? I don't know. I will accept this. The sky is deep and full of wonders, and the path of enlightenment opens to me. 
And I got an Atlas Stone. What do I do with an Atlas Stone? What do I do with that? A spherical gem that seems to pulse it with bright light from its center. Well, it is expensive. But what do I do with it? Atlas, can I just... You're confusing as hell. Why, why can I not get closer to you? I have a jetpack. I should be able to get closer to you. Eh. Okay, clearly not. <clears throat> Never mind that. Uh, are we done? Oh, apparently. D don't be like that. Hold on. Just chill the fuck down. I haven't done anything wrong. Okay. I'm off. I'm off. Um, anything else you need? Apparently not. Uh, so at I got here, and now Atlas is kind of sending me again to another path, apparently? Apparently. Is it giving me another path? Yes, he is giving me another path. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Another Atlas interface. Is that what you're giving me? Okay. Can, can I not just travel like a couple in a row? Why can I not travel? I can't. Uh... Um, sure. Well, I've got enough warp cells, so I might as well. Uh, that's new. Um, what, what's a space anomaly and why are we experiencing it? Do I want to go there? Hi. Holy shit. Is that a... Is that a no-no ship? Should I be killing it and not going in it? That was loud. Up. Apparently I can come in? I don't I have no idea what the hell's going on right now. Um, so there is a life form. Hmm. Greetings. Hi. Hey, you're different races. Aren't you? You are. Hi. You're a priest? Rare linguistic form. Pleasure. Not a divergent Corvax. Assistance offered. Route to Galactic Core. Reconnect with Atlas for guidance. Resource for journey. Yes, no. Uh, as I approach the electronic being, it springs to life. From its dark mass, scanning beams emerge that envelop me. There's a nerving, chittering sound, and then unbelievably, it speaks in my language. It offers me a choice. It can show me how to harness black holes. What? <laughs> in order to embark upon a journey to the center of the galaxy. It can line my way to an Atlas interface so I may follow a path or it will assist me in my own exploration. Um. Okay. Harness black holes. I like the idea. Uh, shit. What about now? Okay, so I'm guessing that I already know the Atlas, the next path to the Atlas interface because I've just been to one, and the next is it's on the next two galaxies. That's my line of thought. So, a shortcut to the center is that eight explore? I don't know. Okay, I actually gotta put up. I find a shortcut to the center, and he has located a black hole. I can warp into a black hole and go closer to the center. Is that what you're telling me? Okay, this game is getting high. I wasn't expecting that to have anything. Um, what about mine? Mine has got ace slots. Uh, no thanks. But what was making noises in? Is this making noise as well? 
Hi, do you talk? Friends everywhere. If only you knew where to look. Friends in all shapes, all sizes, all places. Um, the Shorto ent entity, a geck, has a jocular air about them. They idly wipe leisure's spattered hands on their suit as they address me. Some sort of engineer, maybe. To my surprise, they speak my language. Other life forms have treated me with amused indifference, but Polo treats me like an equal. They are curious about my travels, about what sent sentiments species I have seen. If I have met life forms, they have not. They hope that I will share my experiences. Of course I will! Polo pours over the data, muttering bitterly at beings they are already familiar with, cheering at those they are not. Finally, Polo applauds wildly and hands me a blueprint. Yes! Oh my god, I found the Atlas Pass, so at least I know how to make one. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my god, I actually managed to find an Atlas Pass. Good, 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 good. <laughs> uh, I'm over excited about the Atlas Passes, but as everybody knows, it's like since the beginning of the game that you actually get confronted with Atlas Passes and you can't really do jack with this thing because you have the Atlas Passes everywhere. So there are Atlas Passes on the space stations as well, but... Yes, okay, so there is a black hole over there. And that actually points up the third, like another path again. So I can choose different paths. So I have this free exploration towards waypoint, another waypoint, which is that one. The galactic core, which is the one I probably will take in the future. But this one's a shortcut to what it seems to be, why can I not move around? Oh, free exploration mode. Okay. Oh. This seems to be a black hole. Somewhere. Around here. Oh my god, that's a lot of crap to deal with right now. Okay, so, uh, space anomalies are good, apparently, because that's where I found the possibility to make Atlas Passes. And for my greatest surprise, actually, they are not that hard to make or expensive, which is bloody brilliant. So I'm suspecting that it's like a, a one-use only, where... Um, you use one to open the door, and then you see what's inside, and so on, so on, so on. I, uh, the door is on the other side, okay. So. I want to see if there's one on the other door, see what they have. And actually... This whole game actually just became interesting again. Actually, it makes you wonder afterwards uh, how many boxes are they actually worth opening with the uh, at Atlas Pass, but level one is done, and I'm, I just really, really want to know what the hell is inside one of the uh, doors, at least. Even if, um, even if you can't open, because I think that that one's always open, so of some sort, I think. And on some of them you require Atlas Pass Level 1 to get in. Hi. Hello, friend. A test subject. I still don't speak your language. Sorry. Uh, I'll shake your hand. I don't know why I should... Seriously, why wouldn't you shake your hand with a guy from the Death Punk family? He just gave it in his time an enhancement. Okay. Hmm. V3. Not gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> Anything like V1? No. That that was pushing it, wasn't it? Oh well. I've met ten aliens. Okay. Atlas door. Okay, I got a pass V1. Hold on, hold on. I can do that, I can do that.
Okay. Anything good? Yes, an exosuit upgrade. Thank you so much. Uh, 20,000. I don't care. Oh god, that is bloody helpful. And specimens and shit around, so... Good, I like that. Fine, so the Atlas Pass V1 actually helps out actually to progress in the uh, exosuit stuff. So actually, I think I've got like two or three. It's V3 again. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll get there eventually. So, my big guess is um, I have to be more aware of how much actually I am exploring and uh, scanning because uh, I think that will have a lot of influence on how quickly you can get the Atlas past v2 and v3 uh because from what i can gather and from my experience now with these uh aliens he gave me uh an atlas pass after i've showed him a lot of species that he knew but some of them that he didn't know so i think that's it so i'm gonna have to scan a lot more uh but yeah that's how we get the atlas pass which i think is really really time <laughs> that we have this. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.